Good morning from the Oklahoma Insurance Department. My name is Rachel Fan, and I work in the Communications Division here at OID. Thank you for joining us for our Medicare Mondays webinar series. For your awareness, I do want to mention that this webinar is being recorded. Before we get started, I wanted to share a little bit about what the Oklahoma Insurance Department, or OID, does. OID is a state agency, and we are responsible for regulating the insurance market and enforcing the insurance-related laws of the state. We have an entire team devoted to protecting consumers by providing them with accurate information and timely assistance. We can also deal with your insurance company if you can't reach an agreement regarding a claim. If you would like to reach out to us for help or if you have any questions, you can call us toll free at 1-800-522-0071. You can also visit our website at oid.ok.gov. For today's webinar, you will be able to see and hear us However, we cannot see or hear you. If you have a question, please type that in the chat. At the bottom of your screen, you will see several options, one of those being chat. And if you click on that, you can type your question there. We will save time to answer questions at the end of the webinar. Now I'd like to introduce our speaker, Paige Schuerman. Paige is the Outreach Coordinator for the Medicare Assistance Program, MAP, at the Oklahoma Insurance Department. She's been with MAP for 12 years, and her role includes researching and identifying events and activities across the state for opportunities to promote the program to the general public. Paige participates in public speaking engagements and educates seniors about Medicare fraud, waste and abuse prevention, as well as start intake of suspected fraud cases. She also assists with training sessions for new employees, partners, and volunteers to become certified SHIP or S&P counselors. Paige, over to you. All right, good morning, everybody. I hope y'all can see my PowerPoint. Everyone's doing well. My name is Paige Sherman. I'm with the Oklahoma Insurance Department. My division is the Medicare Assistance Program. We do Medicare insurance counseling here in the state of Oklahoma. So, and we also do these presentations. So welcome to Medicare Monday. So we do a different topic each Monday. So we today are doing open enrollment. And before we get into our presentation today, just uh, to talk about the Medicare Assistance Program, we are funded through a couple of different grants from the Administration for Community Living. Um, these grants allow us to provide education um, and assistance on Medicare related issues. We also partner with the different agencies throughout the state called the Area Agencies on Aging, as well as Life Senior Services in Tulsa. So we have many counselors that are here to help answer questions and help individuals on Medicare. So the topic we are going to discuss today is the Medicare Open Enrollment. So what is Medicare Open Enrollment period? This is a time frame that occurs <clears throat> every year, October 15th through December 7th. This is where people with Medicare Advantage plans and Part D drug plans can compare those options for the new year, or they can uh, enroll into those products for the new year. This time frame does not apply to Medicare supplement insurance. So we are only talking changing or enrolling our Medicare Advantage plans or Part D drug plans. So the supplement insurances, you can actually change those at any time throughout the year. So you want to look at your Advantage plan or drug plan, review that, that information about your plan for next year, uh, make sure things are covered like your medicines, your physicians, um, and just making sure this is still going to be the right plan for you. So you want to also consider during open enrollment period what your current coverage is. So do you already have other insurance? Do you have employer insurance? Are you covered maybe under a spouse's employment plan? Um, you know, how will that um, affect the plan if you were to enroll in a Medicare prescription drug plan or Advantage plan? Or are you a veteran? You know, do the veterans benefits cover all the services you need, all the medications you need, or do you need to add on maybe additional coverage? Um, if you have TRICARE, another thing with that is, you know, do you need other coverage? TRICARE is insurance for retired military personnel. Um, you know, it's pretty good coverage, so they may not need to get a Medicare drug plan or Advantage plan. IHS is Indian Health Services. 
Um, again, do you get your services, your medications all covered at an Indian Health Clinic? Do you need additional coverage outside of that clinic? And at this time, do you have a Medicare supplement insurance policy? Are you considering maybe switching into an Advantage plan for the new year? So different things to consider. Um, and also paying attention if you do make any changes during open enrollment, is that going to impact what you currently have? It could disenroll you from what you currently have. And if you're okay with that, um, then yeah, you would proceed to the doom plan. If not, you just wanna make sure you don't make any mistakes by enrolling in something and disenrolling you from your current plan. So starting around um, in September, <coughs> excuse me, you're gonna get notices from your current insurance plan. This will let you know about any changes um, for your plan coming up for the new year. So you really want to take a look at those notices, make sure your medications may still be covered, your premium isn't going up higher than what you're able to afford, you know, look at your co-payments, look at the network, make sure it's still going to be a plan that's good for you for the new year, and you're able to review that information prior to open enrollment period. So these um, documents, which they're called annual notice of change, are sent by your current Medicare Advantage plan or your prescription drug plan. So you should have gotten those already since we're past September 30th. If you haven't, you need to contact your plan and get that information so you can compare, compare and look at that. Um, and so you're gonna be able to decide, okay, for 2025, is this you know, gonna be a good plan for me? They're also gonna send you an evidence of coverage or EOC, and that's just a document confirming you are covered at this time. So some things to look out for during open enrollment period, look at your plan's premium, see if that's changing or maybe going up for the new year. See if now maybe you have a deductible. This year, your plan may have not have had a deductible. Next year, they may add one on. Um, the maximum drug deductible for next year is $590. So that is going up from this year. And also take a look at your co-payments. You know, if you have a lot of specialty visits or certain other, um, maybe you get x-rays frequently, you know, what are those co-payments going to look like for next year? Also really important is to look at your plan's provider network, making sure all your doctors, your specialist, any hospital you want to go to, any other facility, your pharmacy, all of that is going to be a network with your plan for the new year. And also look at your plan's formulary. So that's the list of medications that your plan will cover. So a drug that's covered this year doesn't necessarily mean it'll be covered for next year. Also, co-payments can change. And maybe your plan didn't require a prior authorization this year for your drug, and it will next year. So just making sure you're paying attention to that so that you're getting your medications, you know, at the lowest cost that you can. There are other important notices that are also sent out. So if a plan will no longer be offered in a particular area for next year, that plan will send out a non-renewal notice. So that should have been received already for those that are losing their plans for the new year. So at that point, an individual now can either choose another Medicare Advantage plan, or if they want to, they can return to traditional Medicare. And if they want to pick up a supplement insurance and a prescription drug plan, they can do that too. There's other notices that go out about plans that are uh, receiving poor performance. So Medicare will rate the plans, the advantage plans and the drug plans. They're on a five star rating scale. So if they have been receiving low ratings for three or more years in a row, then there's going to be a notice sent out. And this is encouraging beneficiaries to consider other plans in the area with higher star ratings, better performance. So beginning October 1, all the information about the Medicare Advantage plans and prescription drug plans will be available on the Medicare.gov website. So um, there's a tool called Plan Finder where you can see all those plans after you've typed in your zip code. It'll bring up the plans in your area, Advantage plans and drug plans. You'll be able to also type in what medications you're taking, choose what pharmacies you'd like to go to, and it will calculate your cost with each of the plans for the new year. In beginning October 1, insurance companies can also send you um, the mail 
about what their plans will look like for 2025. So you're going to get a lot of advertisements about all the different options that may or actually may not even be in your area. So um, also really paying attention or letting us help you using that website to make sure you're looking at products that are actually available you know, in your zip code area. Um, so uh, some things to consider during this time. Do you want a Medicare Advantage plan? If you do, you know, what plan has the benefits at the price that you want or are able to afford? Are all the providers you need to see in that network for that particular plan? So the Advantage plans, that they're quite similar from one another. And if we're looking at them on paper, you know, in regards to the premium, the copayment, some of those benefits. But what can be different is that contracted network of doctors and facilities. So you want to make sure you're staying in their network so you're able to pay those low copayments that you may see in their uh, plan material. And then making sure medications are on that formulary, making sure you're using the in-network in pharmacies as well. So for 2025, we are going to have 17 Part D drug plans in Oklahoma. Um, that's down from 21 from this year. And just an FYI, um, one of the plans from a company called Clear Spring Health, they are sanctioned. What sanctioned means is once a plan does have that low performance, that low star rating for at least three years in a row, um, they can become sanctioned. And what that means is you're not going to see them listed um, in that Medicare plan finder unless you click on view sanctioned plans. So they're basically um, being almost banned from um, being able to have those new enrollees. The plan is still effective, but they're just really not able to easily get new enrollees into the plan. So the lowest monthly premium plan that will be offered is $0 a month, and then the highest monthly premium plan will be $122 a month. And then, like we said earlier, the maximum deductible for the drug plans is $590. There are five what we call benchmark plans. So for individuals who are on the Extra Help Program, also known as the Low Income Subsidy or LIS, they are able to get into these Part D drug plans with paying no monthly premium. Um, so the Extra Help Program, this is a low income assistance program offered through the Social Security Administration that can help cover some of your drug costs. And if you um, are interested in that program, you can always call us and we can screen you and help do an application for that. There are many Medicare Advantage plans um, you know, that include medication coverage, um, but there are some without. So when looking at those Advantage plans, you want to make sure if you need medication coverage, you're looking at the drug, uh, the, excuse me, the Advantage plans with the medication coverage on there. Um, the ones without the drug coverage are more intended for individuals who get their medications covered elsewhere. That may be at the Indian Health Clinic or even veterans. Some of the plans without the drug coverage may offer what they call a Part B buyback. So in, in, um, instead of offering the drug coverage, they can help with covering some of the Part B premium for an individual. A lot of those plans that don't include the medication coverage, you are not allowed to actually enroll in standalone Part D drug coverage. It just it doesn't coordinate. So if you're going to get into those plans without the drug coverage, just make sure you're able to get your medications covered elsewhere. Um, so don't make quick decisions. We have plenty of time to decide, you know, open enrollment again, October 15th through December 7th, plenty of time to research and decide making sure, you know, if you're going to change plans that your current providers are going to accept that new plan. Don't feel pressured, you know, to, to take in a quick plan just because it sounds like it has wonderful benefits. There are many plans out there with many wonderful benefits. So just look at all your choices. Same with your pharmacy. Make sure your pharmacy will be, you know, in network with the plan that you choose. And if you have other coverage, TRICARE, Indian Health or Veterans, just making sure if you need to speak to, a, you know, a patient benefit coordinator there and in insurance coordinator that can talk to you, you know, if you make these changes, will it impact any of those current coverages that you have? And there is our phone number for our program, the Medicare Assistance Program, or, and our email address. You can always um, talk to us about, you know, before you make any decisions. Here is the Medicare website, so medicare.gov. This is what it'll look like when you go on there and you can use that plan finder tool. So reviewing all the plans, you're able to look at your cost of your, your co-payments for your medical services. You can look at the cost of your medications. 
ne next year, um, all Medicare beneficiaries are going to be capped at having to having to pay two thousand um, dollars on their medications. So a two thousand dollar maximum out of pocket for medications is going to exist next year, and you'll be able to see that on that Medicare.gov website if you happen to reach that two thousand dollar you know cap, and in, in what month that may happen. There's also information on there about a new Medicare prescription payment plan option. Um, what this is going to be for next year, um, instead of paying your copayments for your medications at the pharmacy counter, you can actually um, have it all billed to your prescription drug insurance plan, and then you can make monthly payments on your prescription. So instead of meeting that $2,000 cap, possibly you know at the beginning or a couple of months of the year, you can spread that cost out um, throughout the year, making it a little more manageable to make, you know, smaller payments every month. You can also um, enroll directly into the Part D drug plans or Medicare Advantage plans on that Medicare.gov website. And then later, if you choose to enroll um, in that Medicare prescription payment plan, you would do that by contacting your plan directly. Setting up an account on the Medicare.gov website does allow you to keep track of your medication list. So it's saved in there. You can save your pharmacies. You can even kind of track your enrollments. You can see claims if you have original Medicare. So you can see the claims process to Part A and Part B, how much was paid, you know, how much you may owe. And even if you do need to pay um, your premium for your Medicare Part B, you can do that on the website as well. So you've made your decision, you're ready to enroll. Like I said, you can do it on the Medicare.gov website, or if you're wanting to, to have us enroll you in a prescription drug plan, we can do that as well. So we can kind of help go over your list of medications, you know, pick out the pharmacies, identify what plan may work for you, and then we'll do that enrollment. Um, you know, if you're unable to get online or have access to a computer, it is kind of hard to make a good decision. So getting on the website or having us to help you can really, you know, help you to, to choose a, the most cost efficient plan that you can. Um, and, you know, by comparing these plans every year, you know, we're able to really help save individuals money if we can find options with either, you know, lower copayments, lower premium. To enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan, um, you can contact us and we can help go over the plans. We can review, you know, your medications, making sure they're covered, your pharmacies are covered, talk about those different co-payments and premiums. Um, and after that, we're not allowed to do the enrollments into the Medicare Advantage plan. So we'll provide you the information you need to be able to enroll. So we can give you the Medicare Advantage plan um, phone number and you'll be able to do that. Um, if you want to work with an agent or broker, you can do that as well to find a plan. Um, of course, they need to be licensed in Oklahoma to be able to work with you. Um, the agents are going to be able to go over all these different options with you. Um, so you can go that route as well, and they can also um, enroll you. Um, just some heads up, if you do decide to work with an agent, there are some things they can and cannot do when they are assisting you. So um, if they're going to speak with you, it really needs to be that an appointment was made. Um, you know, you need to be the one to request the appointment. You you really do not want to work with individuals who possibly called you out of the blue, who came to your doorstep. You need to be the one to reach out, make the point of contact, and make that appointment. The agent can give you plan material. So if you don't like, you know, speaking over the phone, you, you, you like paper copies, you know, they can actually get you that plan material that you can take a look at. Um, they'll tell you about all the options that they sell and how to even, you know, get some more information about those options. They'll give you an actual enrollment form, and then they'll collect that completed enrollment form from you and get that to the company you choose to enroll in. And they are able to leave you, you know, business cards if you do want to hand those out to friends or family members. Um, just some other points to consider. Don't enroll in a plan um, just based on some of these extra benefits that they're offering. A lot of the plans do offer some great benefits in regards to dental, vision, hearing, you know, over-the-counter benefits, transportation, um, which those are wonderful benefits, but just really pay attention to what's important in regards to your medical care. Again, your doctors are in the network, your hospitals, maybe your, you know, dialysis facility where you go to get your chemotherapy. That's what's important. Really making 
sure that's what's going to be covered. So do your own research. Even if you want to look at reviews, you, you have options to do that. Like I said, Medicare does that five-star rating scale. So you're able to see there's several, several different categories that these companies are rated in and get those five stars. So you can take a look at that on that Medicare.gov website as well. Um, talk to your doctors, talk to your physicians, talk to your hospitals. They're going to have, you know, um, some educated opinions about what plan may work well with you or work well at their facility. And this says to talk to your friends in your area. So these plans are different based on zip code. So make sure if you're talking to friends or family member and you guys are comparing options that you and them have access to the same plant. So they're in your zip code, so you guys are able to, you know, talk about and compare the same options. Again, there is our telephone number. We're here, um, like I said, at the insurance department. So we're state employees. This is free um, information, free counseling. We're completely unbiased as, you know, we're not agents. We're just here to give you information and help you make a good decision. So after you enroll, watch for materials from your new plan that will have like your ID cards in it, may have just some handbooks, some plan material, um, and really making sure this is actually the plan that you enrolled in. Um, there's lots of um, accidental enrollments, unexpected enrollments, so make sure you look at your card, has your name, has the plan you wanted, and that's the correct one. Um, and yeah, look for the material you did not expect. So just take a look at, I know you're going to get bombarded with lots of mail, lots of advertisements and marketing, but just really look at that stuff you get during this time frame. Also, be sure to review those Medicare summary notices. If you are on traditional Medicare and or your explanation of benefits, if you're on an Advantage plan. So those are basically those um, documents that show you what has been billed to Medicare or billed to your plan, it, you know, what doctor it came from, what date the service was provided, and what your plan may or may not have paid. And if they denied covering a service, it'll tell you why and your appeal rights. So there's lots of information on those um summary notices and explanation of benefits. It's also a good place to look at, to identify any suspected wrongdoing, any suspected Medicare fraud. Maybe, you know, if there's a service on there you've never received, a doctor's name you might not have seen, um, you really want to report anything, any discrepancy that you may see. So here is all of our partner agencies in the state. Um, so we have lots. They cover all the different counties. So if you want to call them, have someone a little more local, maybe they know your area and doctors a little more um, to kind of you know talk to you about what may be a good option, you can contact them. Okay, well, that is all of my presentation. So I am ready for if there's any questions. Perfect. Thank you so much. Um, it looks like we don't have any questions just yet. A reminder for everybody, there is that chat feature. Um, it's either at the top of your screen or the bottom of your screen. Looks like a little chat bubble. If you have questions, go ahead and click on that and type them in. Um, you can always call or email map as well if you think of a question after this meeting or if you have something a little bit more personalized that you don't want to ask in that group setting. And I'm gonna give a couple more minutes to see if anyone else has anything to add, but a reminder that all of our Medicare Monday webinars can be viewed on MAP's website. Um, that's map.oid.ok.gov. And we have an educational video section that you can go to to see all of the recordings. And I just had someone ask in the uh, chat if we have recordings available. So that is where those would be listed, that educational video section on MAPS website. And All while right, we're, well, also, while we're ahead, waiting Paige. for any questions, um, just there's future Medicare Mondays coming up. So in November, we'll be talking about preparing for future healthcare needs. And then in December, we'll talk about any Medicare changes for 2025. Perfect. All right, so it looks like we didn't have any questions today, but thank you so much, everyone, for attending. We really appreciate it, and we hope to see you all for our November Medicare Monday. Thank you. All right, thanks. Bye, everyone.